Don't Stop Together has always been a staple date night game for us. We've played this game for so long that the two of us have a harmony. We've come to understand how to play with each other and where our strengths and weaknesses are. These days, when we step through the floral postern, we take off in opposite directions because we know damn well whoever finds the picking first will be the hero of the evening. But it's a whole other animal adding another pair to the mix. Oh, hey, hey, Lux, you do not. Gwen, run away, run away. Lux, run. Run. Wait, what do you click? F. Hurt. <laughs> so we thought it'd be fun to venture back into one of our oldest videos and have our first ever double date night. Of course, we needed to find the right pair of people to not starve with. And what could be better than a double helping of each of us by bringing along his brother and my sister? Whether fighting monsters or amongst each other, we're in it together on double date night. Don't Starve Together is already a punishing game if you don't go in with a plan. But the more people you add, the more things there are to keep track of. Are we on like ultra hard mode? What's going on? <laughs> going from two to four doesn't seem like much, but when you've got hunger, health, and sanity to manage, you're talking about 12 different status bars to keep in check. As a designated team mom, that responsibility falls into my hands a lot, and at times it feels like an impossible task. Food gets devoured faster than it can be replaced, things are constantly getting caught on fire, and and most of the damage taken comes from reviving people. <laughs> what? Why is okay, this happening? Okay, I killed one of the hounds. Good work. I killed the other hound. I'm gonna kill this one. Okay, we killed I the hounds. I ate a meeple. That being said, having more people has plenty of benefits that go far beyond having extra mouths to feed. There are extra sets of hands to help collect, mine, and chop, which makes my wish of being in two places at once closer to reality. When we all fan out in different directions, we cover a lot more ground in a lot shorter time. Of course, all that hinges on being able to delegate the group, which is a tall order when not a single one of us can stay on target. Here, I'm gonna get the charcoal going. Okay. Oh, my torch burnt out, Never mind. Here, I can give you a here, Nick. I'll drop this one. It's like 18%. There you go. Do we need charcoal? Should I start lighting shit on fire? No, no. I'll do. I'll be the one <laughs> doing the fires. A controlled yeah, fire. We want a controlled fire. Out of the four of us, it was my sister who had zero experience with the game. Being the older sibling that I am, I took it upon myself to extend a hand and help her learn about this harsh and unforgiving world. Suddenly, the hard carried had become the hard carry. And basically, there are two goals in this Ooh. game. Taryn has like the elementary school teacher thing going. Uh huh. Come on, Gwen. <laughs> Don't get lost. <laughs> I need to pick up some twigs too. Well, Lux and I are just furiously chopping trees to build <laughs> a go. base. So yes, the goal is would. to not starve. Together. Up until now, I've never had to be the teacher in this game, and you really forget how much there is to learn when you've been playing for so long. Can you only craft in the daytime? No. Okay. <laughs> I love that. That's such an honest question. I love that. <laughs> You said there were no stupid questions. It made me stop and think. Was I like this when the two of us started playing? Does someone want to make Gwen like a backpack, maybe? Yes. <laughs> I feel like the fucking child. Does someone want to get her a backpack? Oh, on the flip side of that, he and his brother have played before, so the boys got quite a bit of a head start on us. The two of them took off running right out of the gates and didn't come back until they had inventories full of stuff. His brother is just as bloodthirsty as he is in this game, but with the added caveat of not having put in the hours required to back it up with fists. Oh, are there spiders? Yeah, I'm coming. Yeah, there's just a few up here. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm gonna die. Run! 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 I didn't realize you were that weak. I'm now beginning to understand a small inkling of the pain I put them through when we play together. Say goodbye to min-maxing, say goodbye to rushing bosses, and say goodbye to neat base design. His OCD probably took the biggest hit, but I don't know what he was expecting. Having them install geometric placement was completely in vain. Are you just hungry, Lux? I'm gonna be. There's okay. one meatball already in the fridge. Yeah, go ahead. I will go that. on a berry hunt and then a cactus hunt. So that's my job. I'm getting twigs to build him a spear. Perfect. Thanks, Gwen. Everyone has a job. I don't have a job. It's really easy to forget that finding time where all four of us are available is few and far between, so this world doesn't need to last into infinity. We'd be lucky enough to play it again, because it seems like every time we all sit down to play, we start a fresh world anyways. That means the main objective isn't longevity, but fun. It's important for me to keep in mind that this isn't going to be one of our mega-based worlds where we push the days survived into the hundreds. 
Should I eat flower petals? I keep trying to tell you, we have food. Well, on the way though, I'm gonna die before I get home. What? You can pop seeds. <laughs> I'm not giving you my butter. Oh, I can eat seeds. <laughs> I'll eat the mandrake. Oh no, my god! Don't eat the mandrake. <laughs> that was so good. It gave me- Oh no! <laughs> I'm sleeping. A typical don't starve kind of date night. I can usually depend on him to progress us forwards while I run around making flower crowns and picking berry bushes. But when you add our siblings to the mix, it becomes a full-time job. He spends pretty much the entire time running from one to the other and back, putting out literal fires and trying to keep everyone sane. It became pretty clear to me that he was gonna be tied down for the foreseeable future. So it was up to me to take the initiative. Okay, Nick, you need to get to them Your immediately. Towns? There are hounds. Where did yeah. all these spiders come from? I don't know. Holy shit, there's a lot of spiders on my ass. And there's like five pieces of gold mining. Alright, I'm, I'm running hungry. to Gwen. Gwen, beeline Thank you. to me. I also just realized Wait, I don't have do a have... light. Oh my god, there's like 12 what? spiders on my ass. <laughs> Run! Oh Run! my god! Nick, I don't know where you are! I'm it's okay, just stay put, I'm coming. Just stay by the okay. fire. I made the goal of setting up our usual base layout and went out on an adventure to find gears. All the while collecting and refining resources to build a truly magnificent base. Could this be the birth of Miss Minmax? Oh no, she crashed I again. crashed again. Oh, why do you keep crashing? I don't know. Because she's a woman driver. <laughs> Alas, many of my efforts felt like they were in vain. I did my best to top off the fridge every time I stopped at camp, but it seemed like no matter how much I put in, it was always empty when I'd come back. I was left starving, cold, and alone, wondering where I went wrong. It really hit me how much he usually streamlines things when I realized we were only a few days away from winter and our base was still looking like a pop-up shelter. I'll throw some shit on the fire. Do I have? I honestly was starting to get a little jealous that he wasn't devoting 100% of his attention to me, like usual. I always play so sloppy because I know I can rely on him to be on top of it. It's a harsh reality coming up a few twigs or gold short of a crafting recipe and not having him right next to me to magically produce them on a whim out of thin air. I never realized how good I had it. The silver lining is, at least his skills aren't going unappreciated. Do you have any gold? Oh, I have plenty of gold. Where do you get all your gold? You're paying way too much for gold, Gwen. If we're usually disorganized, then I don't even know what to call this. Making chess seems more like a suggestion than a requirement, since more often than not, asking for something was the easiest way to get what you need. I'm not sure why, but it seems like people were hoarding items for themselves the entire time, even when they didn't know what they were for. With everyone off in their own world with their own agenda, we were stuck living meatball to meatball, barely making ends meet. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shoot, we don't have anything to eat, guys. The fridge was always empty, but to be fair, it was a miracle we even had a fridge to begin with. I figured out pretty quick that if things didn't change, we spend the entire game scraping by on hunger, so I accepted the principle of give a sister a fish and she'll eat for a day. Teach a sister to fish and she can make meatballs for the entire group. Who knew the solution to our hunger problems was teaching them to feed themselves? My heart swelled with pride the first time I came back to base and found freshly cooked meatballs sitting in the crock pot waiting to be eaten. I'm honored to pass the base bitch torch on to the next generation. Honor. I'm honored to pass the base bitch torch on to the next generation. Can you put cactus in? Yeah. With like the monster meat on? Oh, cactus is I'm a just vegetable. Get the hang of it. I'll just stay at home and do the cooking. Don't worry about it. I like the me. sound of that. <laughs> Gwen is the glorified <laughs> base bitch. Yeah, Gwen has taken Terran's job. Yeah. <laughs> It's nice that they can learn the game in an environment where death is more or less inconsequential. What neither of us considered was that every time those two got a revive, they incurred a health penalty. That meant they were that much closer to dying again each time they were brought back to life. I guess you could say it was a self-fulfilling prophecy of sorts. I'm coming. There's like three or four nests right here. Where are you? I'm in the, the I'm in the den. Oh, the whole village is after me. The whole clan. 
Oh my god! Okay, I'm good. I'd wish I'd had an older sibling that would revive me every time I died when I was picking up the game for the first time. I mean, I guess I had a boyfriend, which is kind of the same thing. Come to think of it, I didn't resurrect anyone the entire evening, so that burden was all on his shoulders. He crafted more Telltale Hearts in two hours than I think he's ever made with just the two of us. I really wonder what the tally was. Is give, there. give to Gwen. There you go. Oh, what? <laughs> like he just appeared. Oh, let's go. Welcome back. Okay, here's for oh my Gwen. God. What are yeah, we? Give them me. Let's go. You're back. back. To Welcome back. All right, here you go, Lux. Don't worry, Taryn. You'll get another chance to save me. We might need a tally at the top of how many times I had to craft these. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Think Here, let me heal you, Lux. Stuff. Woo! All right, what do I need to be equipped with? A shovel? Bring your spear. Run, Lux, what run. Let's hell? get out of here. I don't like this. No! Are you kidding me? Lux just <laughs> keeps dying. You didn't tell me he could shoot me. I told you to run. Okay, here we go. Now, and go. Uh-oh. Oh, the ground is shaking. What's that? So we might need to- Oh, earthquake. No! That was the worst time for an earthquake. Okay, I can heal you though. I'm gonna heal you again, Lux. And then we, we actually have to fail. I have 20 health. Oh, not the Glarby Glarb. The Glarby Glarb! <laughs> Oh my god! Oh, it's you can take my body, but you can't, you can't take my brows. I only have 15 health, and I gotta heal both myself and then revive Lucky and heal myself again. Okay. Hi. Oh, are imagine, you so happy it's not you? Imagine being dead. <laughs> <laughs> A smarter sister than I would have explained how the health penalty works, but it's been a while since we've had to use a heart, so we both kind of forgot. We fell into the trap of feeding someone and whenever they said they were hungry, but I never stopped to check if they actually needed food. Walking, walking, walking. Walking, walking. In this case, I stuffed my sister full of pierogies because she was always complaining about being low on health and never realized that her health was capped off. I keep eating pierogies and they're not advancing my health at all. Oh, so you're just trying to do No, because her health is capped. She, she's she been resurrected so many times. That, is it blacked oh, out? Oh, damn it. Yeah. I've the been pierogies. doing all this shit. <laughs> I've been wasting the pierogies. No one told me I was harsh in the vibe. <laughs> yeah. I ate spider glance too. I'm like, why isn't this working? Oh, oh no, I'm just a waste of resources. It seems like with every game we play, it's always when we turn off try hard mode and prioritize fun that we have the best luck. Ironically, we had some of the best RNG we've ever had in this entire game. And of course it happened with the two worst confidants to put it to use. Wait, how do I right click? I just got butter, let's go. When we'd get excited, they were there to cheer us along because even if they had no idea why we were excited, they were having a good time. I got butter again! Let's wow! Go. This is the so most incredible lucky. luck. I got butter back to back! Back to back <laughs> butter? You've gotta learn to walk before you can run, and no one expects you to get there in one day. It took me ages to get to where I am now, and I'm still not 100% confident in what I'm doing. Even still, now I know why he puts up with all my shenanigans in games. It's super fun and rewarding to watch someone learn and improve. So Gwen successfully killed a spider? What? I successfully killed two to four spiders. Oh! Yeah. I'm not sure how much of a help Nicholas was. All games that don't start together tend to end the same way, in fire. And this was no exception. We had a good run and tons of fun, but it was bound to happen eventually. I started a forest fire. Where? I didn't mean to. Oh, everything's burning. <laughs> oh, I'm on fire too. I'm trying to chop the trees before they burn. This is awesome. We were so preoccupied with all the chaos that it wasn't until later that we looked at each other and realized neither of us had died once. Huh. Maybe I have gotten better at games after all.